All right, we have imported in our Amazon CSV. If you are using the Amazon seller spreadsheet, hopefully you've taken a look at the video on how to enter expenses and the expense tabs. Um, if you need to enter any custom revenue or sales from outside of Amazon sources on here, you wanna have gone ahead and done that. Now we're gonna talk about the sales tax and buy state tabs. Again, this is applicable whether you're using the seller spreadsheet or the import add-on. I'm going to show it on the import add-on spreadsheet for this example. First, let's talk about this blue sales tax tab. So this is theoretically where the spreadsheet should be importing in any sales tax related information if you are collecting sales tax in a state that does not require marketplace sales taxes. So this is becoming less and less common, honestly, because, at, because as of um, you know, November 2019, at least 25 states in the US are requiring marketplaces like Amazon to collect that marketplace facilitator sales tax that I briefly mentioned previously. So what that means is that the majority of the sales tax that's getting collected and reported on your CSV is marketplace facilitator sales tax that Amazon never remits over to you. They withhold it and pay it over to those individual states on your behalf. Now you may still have a nexus in a state or states that don't require marketplace facilitator tax and thus you hopefully have set up Amazon, your Amazon shop, to charge those state customers accordingly. So if that applies to you and this is something that you've done, then you are going to receive those sales taxes and they should be reported right here and it's gonna be your responsibility to pay that sales tax over to that state. So if that does apply to you, then you would wanna use this blue sales tax tab to, to get some of the information that you need in order to fill out your state sales tax form when you're paying it over to your state. One of the things that those states, that the state usually asks for on the sales tax form is the total in-state sales amount. And that's really what this tab is designed to help you do. So here in March, I have an example of a seller who is located in the state of Illinois, which is not a marketplace sales tax state currently as of the time of this filming. So she is required to collect sales tax from her in Illinois state customers because she has a physical nexus there and uh, she set her Amazon shop up to do that on her behalf. So here is an in-state sale for her where she's collected 369 in sales tax. Amazon's gonna actually pay that over to her and she's responsible for remitting it over to the state of Illinois when it's due. So she can use this blue sales tax tab to enter in her state abbreviation and her state name and putting those in there is gonna populate these rows here to show her her in Illinois state sales totals if she needs that for her sales tax forms. This one includes shipping paid to her and this one excludes shipping paid to her. And I show you both because some states charge sales tax on shipping and some do not. So depending on whatever your scenario is, you have the number that you need. It's also telling her that she collected $3.69 in sales tax. So this tab is just giving you a little additional information to figure out sales in a specific state if you need that in order to do a sales tax form. Now the orange by state tab is going to give you some information regarding a different type of sales tax, which is economic nexus. And again, if you need to read up on this, I have a really good article or two in the PDF instructions about economic nexus. But this is the other new kind of sales tax that basically says if you have so many number of sales, like sales volume, number of transactions to a specific state, or if you sell over a certain dollar threshold to customers in a specific state, you may have economic nexus in that state, which then means you have to deal with sales taxes in that state. Um, this doesn't apply to many of us. It's mostly for higher volume sellers, but I do have this tab in here. If economic nexus is something that you are concerned about, this tab is going to keep track of the number of sales you have to every state and the sales dollars you have to every state. 
so that you can always know where you stand when it comes to those sales thresholds. You don't need to do anything with this tab. It's going to pre-populate for you when you do your import, um, but this is what you need to know. And I've got a whole other video that kind of talks more about economic nexus that you can watch as well. These, but that is how the two sales tax related tabs on your spreadsheet work.